Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to Act 3D Designs. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and install the hot end carriage. So let's get started. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to put our hot end carriage onto our printer. Now, unfortunately, we do have it all assembled at the moment from pre-wiring it. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it. something I didn't show everybody earlier if you look right here there's these little tabs that are on this hot end mount my regular E3D they really don't matter but when you mount the mosquito we ground out the, the, the cooling block against those that way you're sure it lays in there square and it also keeps it from pivoting when you go to do one-handed nozzle changes. You can be sure it's not going to twist when you go to loosen or tighten the nozzle. We're going to set, set this right onto the carriage. Now it's going to actually sit at an angle. And it should actually click in place when you snap it down on there. Now, we will not use this hole here. New designs made it to where our tensioner for our belts ended up right in the way of that. I have not seen any issues with only using three of the four screws to hold it in place. And I just used three metric three by eight millimeter screws to hold that in place. There we go. Now just to help keep, so we don't lose anything, we can go ahead and mount the hot end, the, use these two screws with a hot end mount and go ahead and put it in place as well. Now we have that in place, and we can very carefully set this down. Use where it costs, because we need to figure out how long we're going to make our hose that holds everything up. Let me see if I can give us a different shot now. Alright, so we need to get our wire from up here to right here. First thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and roughly test fit this in place. Now I did have a coil PTFE. I did cut the length before I gave away the prototype. And I know it's going to roughly be that long. Give us a nice decent loop. We're not going to stretch and pull too hard. Might be going to go a little bit shorter than this, but that's there to there. That's what we're going to need to do, right? Okay. Now we're using our nice high performance hose that we got for Midnight Giant. And that's looking about right. I'm going to put myself a tape mark on this piece. It. 
got my tape mark. Now I just need to go ahead and cut this hose, and there is a trick to that. Use a chisel and a block of aluminum. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, when you get ready to start ordering the parts for your white knight, or you just need another roll of filament, check out the printed solid affiliate link in the description below. If you want to help support this channel and future projects, there is also an Amazon wish list and a PayPal me link in the description. And as always, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for updates. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.